I'm going to be comparing ClickFunnels versus Elementor. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about ClickFunnels and Elementor. Which one are you going to go for? Now, I'm actually a member. Um, I've actually purchased Elementor uh, Pro and I've also purchased ClickFunnels. And they're both great tools, but they both have pros and cons. And the truth is, is that it really depends on what you need. OK, so let's talk about Elementor first. Elementor I've been using for well over a year now. I've probably built just over 100 websites and landing pages and all sorts of things. And for me, it's a walk in the park using Elementor because it's a drag and drop and it's really clean. It's a fast interface. It's a fast user experience. And really, um, they just keep perfecting the software. They keep uh, perfecting the plugin. Uh, it's got so many little features. Now, not everyone's got the pro version of Elementor. And my attitude is, why don't you have it? Um, especially if you do use Elementor on a regular basis. With the pro version, it just gives you absolute flexibility with everything. But let's talk about the actual comparison versus ClickFunnels. Now, why would someone use Elementor Pro rather than ClickFunnels. Well, number one with Elementor Pro, it's a yearly fee instead of a monthly fee. And the yearly fee for Elementor is, you know, two months worth round about of the same price for um, ClickFunnels. So the cost is considerably cheaper, but you also need to think about, well, you know, with Elementor, it's not a standalone application. So uh, like ClickFunnels, it's an all-in-one solution. With Elementor, it's literally just for building uh, landing pages and websites and anything on those lines, but you still need to buy hosting and you still need to have third party plugins, which may also cost to achieve certain things like a quiz form. You know, you can't really do that with Elementor without a whole bunch of tech. And I would actually say you'd have to be a little bit more of an advanced user with Elementor. But with ClickFunnels, they make a quiz sort of feature really simple. It's just drag and drop and start doing the quiz. But with ClickFunnels, you can't um, adjust every single element. You can't really build full blown scalable websites. It's really a funnel builder. Even though you can get a basic website with ClickFunnels, you can't really do that. Um, you can't really get the same sort of results with Elementor. It's just not there, you know, um, which isn't a bad thing because once again, it really comes to the intent of, you know, why you're using Elementor, why you're using a ClickFunnels, what is you actually want from it? And I think that's what you've got to ask yourself before buying either of them. Are you going to be building a full blown website where you want to be able to customize every single element from scratch on not only desktop but tablet and mobile and do you want complete ownership of the asset okay that's also a really important thing do you want to own the whole website and not be tied in to um you know a ongoing monthly fee and kind of like Wix and all of these drag and drop um, all on one platform sort of things where you don't actually own the website itself. You may own the domain name if you transfer it away and uh, you may, but that's really actually it. Um, you know, but with Elementor and your own WordPress site, you will own absolutely everything. And even if the site goes down or even if you stop paying for hosting, you will always be able to back up your files beforehand and download them so you can get started at any other point. If you use ClickFunnels, that's not really the same. You can't really do that. So ultimately, you're not really owning the actual funnel itself. Um, yes, it may be in your account, but the minute you stop paying for that account, it all goes down. You can't download the files. You can only share them with other people. So again, it's all about your expectations on what it is you're actually after. Now, I have been using ClickFunnels for a few months now because um, I recently enrolled in ClickFunnels One Funnel Away Challenge course. And if you don't know what it is, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Um, but 
with click one of the reasons I actually purchased ClickFunnels is because even though I'm a fluent WordPress designer, I have been pulling WordPress websites together for years now. I've dealt with lots of clients. I've still got lots of clients where I build WordPress websites for. In fact, even today I was building a site for a client um, using WordPress and Elementor. But the truth is, is that I kind of just, I want everything to be centralized. I want a kind of like a software or something that just does everything for me. And even though Elementor does that to a certain degree, you still need to worry about third party plugins and then conflict issues with third party plugins. Um, Elementor hasn't added all the features yet that ClickFunnels has. Now, I actually think Elementor is going down that route where they're going to be adding loads and loads of stuff. They're going to be adding quiz features and, and, and. I'm not sure if they've made that announcement, but it kind of just makes sense because what Elementor seems to be doing is they really are becoming a one-stop shop, you know, an all-in-one solution. And um, really, I mean, I think that would be a fantastic way for Elementor to go, um, you know, because they're, they're already, I mean, with the latest pop-up feature and the portfolio uh, galleries and what's not, which I've created videos about before, um, it's they really are wiping out a lot of their competition. And um, what's nice about Elementor as well is the fact that they listen to their customers they actually listen and then they develop. They're not throwing loads of new features out there or loads of luxurious and fancy um, features that no one really uses. What they're doing is that they're actually working on their current uh, features, their, their current elements, their current widgets or whatever you wanna call them, and they're making them better and better and better, easier and easier and easier, faster and faster and faster. So on a business um, and a customer service and a true um, product experience, they are blowing the competition away. They are so far ahead of the game on that on that level, on that, you know, area that there's really no one who is able to compete with them. Now, yes, I know Div is around and no Visual Composer and I know all these other uh, third party plugins, but, you know, they're still iffy. And in the nicest way, they're still great, and I know lots of people use them, but in my experience, I found them a little bit iffy. They're a little bit slow, or a little bit glitchy, or a little bit, uh, you know, moving that element uh, or there. Um, so Elementor is definitely on the right path to, I mean, they're already the greatest web drag and drop website builder for WordPress. Um, so yeah, you've got all of that information for Elementor. Now with ClickFunnels, um, ClickFunnels is kind of a different approach because they focus on offers and hooks and story. And instead of just helping people uh, build funnels and websites, they're actually teaching them. Um, and that's quite interesting. They're, they're, they're actually building a culture um, of people, a, a, a culture of excellence, a, a community where they're actually you know, they know that a lot of new people or small business owners or, you know, freelancers or people just entering the business world um, don't really know how to generate sales or often sales is one of the hardest things to do in any business. So they've understood that and they're actually, they provide outstanding. And again, um, have a look in my description because this course I'm taking or uh, nearly finished is just exceptional. But they're actually, they're creating training on the process of getting sales, you know, and that is priceless. I don't even know, um, even know what you call it. Um, Elementa provides a fantastic product, you know, it's what, uh, and the cheaper than ClickFunnels. What ClickFunnels is doing is they've realized it's better to train people on what it is they really want out of the product, as well as provide a great product, um, you know, rather than anything else. And, and their training is second to none. So yes, once again, Elementor is a little bit, well, actually considerably cheaper than ClickFunnels, but with ClickFunnels, you get a completely different experience because once again, 
you know, you wouldn't really buy ClickFunnels to buy a full-blown website. You'll buy ClickFunnels to build full-blown funnels. Hence, click funnels. <laughs> so that's so. Once again, if you're after like if you're after like pure branding and stuff like that, again, I, I would probably say go with Elementor. But if you're after lead generation or online sales or 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 um, and you're looking to do paid advertising like PPC, um, I would say go with ClickFunnels. I also think if you're a beginner and you're not on a, you've not really got a huge budget, I know ClickFunnels charge X amount a month, um, but the truth is, is that with the training and with the ease, you're not going to be spending as much time learning the software and, you know, with it, with it with click funnels it is basically done for you like you just import the template you customize it a little bit and bang it it's it's done everything for you um so you'll probably get a return on your investment a lot faster and i'm going off a time based sort of thing i'm going off a learning curve i'm going off um kind of like the done for you approach okay because that's what click funnels really designed for it's right des it's designed to to for to drive hardcore traffic, um, you know, so you can get those sales, so you can get those leads coming through. So again, Elementor, ClickFunnels, the two very different products, and you know, depending on your needs, will really depend on, you know, which one you're going to go with. Now, I actually purchased Elementor first because my services are providing small, medium-sized businesses with an online infrastructure. So part of it is providing websites, and I found at the beginning. Uh, I, because I was learning WordPress a, year, a few years ago, that in fact Elementor just solved all my problems when it came to building a website. But when I started looking into marketing a little bit uh, a little bit more in detail and started uh, thinking, right, I want to start building funnels because funnels is a really important side to online anything. Um, and it's also it's kind of the way the industry is going as well you know um websites in my opinion are becoming a little bit more obsolete and funnels are really the next big thing um and i don't think funnels are going to go away anytime soon because they're just it just makes sense to have a funnel um and just to give you an idea why is when you've got a website even with a well-structured website You've got lots of shiny things all over the page where you've got users who can or visitors who can click on things and get distracted. But when it comes to funnels, funnels are super focused. So they can only do that specific action that you want them to do. So if that's collecting an email or playing a video or buying something, um, then that's what funnels are actually really good at. And that's kind of the purpose of them. But with a website, you've actually got a greater chance of losing that visitor, that customer, that lead, that whatever, uh, because of all the shiny objects on the page. Uh, so that that's something to bear in mind. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's just let's just have a look. Um, so the truth is, um, I would say. If you're looking to do some hardcore lead generation or you're trying to sell it sell something then click funnels is probably a better solution for you than elementor you know for all the reasons i've pointed out um if you're looking for better branding and um kind of like a website brochure sort of thing or your full-blown online store uh, then you probably would be better off with Elementor and WordPress. Uh, now, the truth is, is that I actually think Elementor and WordPress is a deeper learning curve, especially for newcomers who don't know how to use or build any sort of website or funnel if they've never used WordPress before, purely because with WordPress, you've got to install WordPress, which is usually like a one-click install now, but you've also got to sort out hosting and then connect, uh, you know, if you buy a domain in another place, you've got to change all of that stuff. And then you've also got to install the files, activate them, you know, change certain things, add third parties in if you want different sorts of source of results. And of course, you've got, you know, you basically are 
the tech nerd when it comes to the WordPress side, but with ClickFunnels, it's not really that big of a learning curve. All you need to learn is just the software itself. You don't need to learn stuff about hosting or why things are going slow. Um, you don't need to learn about all these silly little problems. And if you do have problems with ClickFunnels, you don't need to go online and start researching how to solve this or how to solve that or um, how to clear my cache. <laughs> what you've, or you can actually just click live support and contact support. OK, so if you're using Elementor on WordPress and there's a problem, you don't and you've got lots of different plugins, you don't always know which one's causing issues. So there's a whole process to that. But with ClickFunnels, all you've got to do is contact them, the live support, which is pretty decent, and they will, you know, solve it for you. So, again, yes, ClickFunnels is a bit expensive, but again, it is that all in one solution, which Elementor isn't really that all in one solution. So I think we're going, I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, you know, I didn't really want to get into the, you know, what each one specifically offers because I don't think that's the best sort of comparison video. Um, I think a great comparison video is what are your needs? You know, um, what are your long term goals and all of that stuff? And basically the pros and cons of using them both. And uh, I have been using both of them for some time now. Um, and I actually use them both because I know that when I'm serving clients and stuff like that, they don't want uh, funnels. They don't understand the concept of funnels a lot of the time. Um, they just want a website. They want a website brochure because they tend to already have um, a system that works for them. And that's OK. And a lot of time they don't want to be bothered with anything else. They don't want more things added to their plate. But for the typical person who wants to do things for themselves, ClickFunnels is probably a better alternative because, you know, when you're when you are an extreme learner or if you're someone who just doesn't really like outsourcing anything and just wants to do everything themselves, then really you want a centralized area, something like ClickFunnels, where you can achieve everything that you need. OK, and at the end of the day, um, you know, if you don't like one, you can always go to the other. Yes, it's a little bit of money down the drain, but the truth is, is that, um, you know, time is more important than anything else. So it's about, really, it's about jumping in, learning it, no matter which one it is, and just committing to it and making it work, okay? And I, I actually have a little uh, thing when I buy new software, when I invest in anything software related, which is... Um, what's the price of this? Right, I'm not going to give up on that software until I've made a sale using that software and it's got my money back. So at least then I can kind of break even. It's a weird philosophy, but, you know, it just makes me more committed. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you uh, have a look in my description because I've got a bunch of bonuses and links and also and discounts as well which is a big really important one i'm also going to link you to some other um videos on my channel which i think you're going to really enjoy enjoy and um, thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe and if you've got any questions please feel free to comment below i do tend to respond within 24 hours see you later